Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at more Emma Rung stories. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. I'm 31 and my husband is 36. We have two boys, a five-year-old and a seven-year-old. My husband works in an office and he has the option to work a few days a week from home, but he prefers not to because he says it's easier to focus in the office. I run a small business from home. I don't have a lot of daily work, just some emails and planning, maybe three hours a day, but the business does make about a third of our household income. But my younger son is home all day and just dealing with him takes a lot of energy. He's really high energy and will probably wreck something if you leave him alone for an hour. And then the older one comes home at three and both of them are with me until eight or nine, which is when my husband usually comes home. A few days ago, I was really tired and I didn't make dinner. When my husband came home, I asked him if he could just order something. He was also tired and we were both short tempered, so we ended up snapping at each other. He said I should have at least ordered before he got home and he was hungry. I said I forgot and it's not fair that food is always my problem. He said that I'm home all day and I even admit I don't have much work to do. So basically I'm a stay at home mom and should at least take care of dinner. I said he has no idea how much I do every day and he said he'd handle the kids for an entire day while also working from home just to prove it should be easy for me. I said sure so he made the arrangements to work from home yesterday. I slept in and when I woke up he was already frazzled from getting the older one ready for school. He ended up having to cancel a meeting to make breakfast and was worried about that. Then when he took another meeting later on, the boys went out to play in the yard and got super muddy and left footprints all over the house which he then had to mop and I didn't help at all. By this, I did feel sort of guilty because it was definitely hard for him to take care of work at the same time, but all I wanted was an apology. He said he was doing this to show that I do nothing all day and if he just admitted he was wrong, I would have helped out straight away. Later on, he had another meeting and he told the boys not to bother him for an hour, but about 20 minutes in, they got into an argument about something and our younger one went to my husband's room to complain. He was really loud and my husband's video was also on. Then he told the kid to leave him alone, but he was upset and crying and wasn't listening. After a few minutes, my husband went back to the meeting and apologized to the other people. When it was finished, he was really angry at me. He said I could see what was happening and I just watched him struggle without helping. I said all you had to say was please help. He said I shouldn't be petty and prideful. This probably made him look a bit stupid in front of his manager, but it was only a few minutes and I don't think it was a huge deal he made it out to be. Prideful? He's the one that's prideful for not apologizing. Seriously. And I just find it crazy how they argued about dinner. <laughs> and they could just order, you know? Come on, it's 2024. You know, just Uber something to your house. Some people, they just need to argue over something. Like, come on now. And he did say he could handle it. So that's what she let him do because he was like, I can show you, I can handle everything while doing my work too. Well, turns out he couldn't. He couldn't. <laughs> oh my gosh. And isn't it sad how before this day, he wouldn't even be taking care of the kids at all. Like he comes home at nine, right? So he doesn't even know how it feels to take care of a kid. That's why he's been complaining, being like you do nothing at home. And the first time he finally takes care of his own kids, he starts complaining. Like, bro, those are your kids as well. He's wording it as if it's only her kids. They'd be like, your kid has been bothering me. It's your kid too. <laughs> okay. My husband and I got into a stupid argument yesterday about going to a high-end restaurant. This restaurant is literally right around the corner from our house and they host James Beard nominees and awardees. I was getting a little sad about not being able to try it out yet since we were not that far away and we are moving soon. This triggered the argument. My husband literally said and believed that he's a chef and we can get high quality ingredients and cook similar to the ways that they may cook at the restaurant. I told him absolutely not, we are not chefs. He told me that he's a chef. I told him he's not a chef. Does he like to cook? Yes. Can he cook? Debatable. He added chicken to water to boil it and seasoned the water, not the chicken. And not with fresh aromatic herbs and vegetables and dried spices. You decide. He truly believes that he's a chef and I'm trying to tell him he's not a professionally trained individual who learned techniques and skilled in cooking to say that he's a chef. That's true. Because what? Is every stay-at-home mom who cooks a chef? No. They just cook because they need to. <laughs> Like a chef is a job title. You cooking at home does not mean you're a chef. Basically, you're a cook at your own home. <laughs> My husband is truly convinced that he's a chef to the point where he wants to argue his point. Should I feed into his delusion to be an agreeable wife or should I just stay steadfast in the truth? And please know that he has other amazing strengths that I give props, but this is not one of them. So she wants to go out and eat, but he's like, no, we have food at home. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, bro. I've heard that too many times as a kid. I'd be pissed off. Okay, because if I want to try a restaurant 
And then my partner's like, I could cook the same thing they cook. You don't have to go. And I know his food does not taste like high quality, chef amazing. <laughs> then I'd be pissed. I'd be like, come on, why can't we just go? Let's just go. It's just around the corner. But honestly, just so the argument ends, I'll just agree. I'd be like, okay, okay, okay. Like, all right, all right, all right, you cook. And then I'll just go to the restaurant myself another day. Go by myself because somebody didn't want to go with me. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time.